everybody, my name is uh, David Soden and I am the owner of Bubble CGM here in the United States. And I am a type 2 diabetic and I am working with a company called Bubblin out of Sweden. And so I am the USA reseller for Bubble devices and I want to show you a little bit about it, how it can change your life. And if you're a doctor watching this, how it can change the lives of your patient and uh, can probably solve some big problems that you have with regards to your patients not scanning or taking enough scans uh, with the Libri sensor even though it's so easy to use um, you know maybe they just don't use it as much as they should and so with the bubble uh, it's unique in that it takes blood glucose readings automatically for your users every five minutes and it sits on top of the Libri sensor device and then from there, it takes the information and wirelessly transmits it into uh, or via Bluetooth to an application on the smartphone. It could be iOS, it could be Android. And from there, the application will upload it into LibreView, which is what you, the doctors, use to monitor uh, to get information from uh, the Libre sensor as it regards to your patient. And you can provide proper treatment or see trends and analysis and things of that nature. Obviously, if you're not using LibreView and prescribing Libre sensors by Abbott, you absolutely should be using that. Um, if not, you're missing out. Well, this technology that we have, a bubble CGM, uh, is a continuous glucose monitor, is meant for consumers to use as a technology. It's not a medically approved device. It's just a technology. And through an open source application on the internet called Diabox, who we partnered up with, uh, they go ahead and they provide the software connectivity to the back end of Libri, uh, which is the Libri view that I was just talking about. So this is a fantastic product and a game changer. So I want to stop by your office. Uh, I live here in Canton, Georgia, and I want to be able to give you a demo to show you how this device works for me. You can see my readings if you're an endocrinologist and understand pretty much just how this works. And then you can start to get a vision about how you could use it in your patients' lives and part of your treatment program. In any event, let's dive into the bubble. Let's take a look at it and let's see how it works. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Uh, so here we are. This is uh, the United States Postal Service two-day flat rate box. This is how it is shipped to everywhere in the United States. So everybody will get their bubble device. Uh, in this package and they will get it within two days according to the United States Postal Service. Inside will be the bubble box and inside of your bubble box you will have the bubble device. This is the sensor that you will install and overlay it over the top of your Libri sensor. It's simply you apply an adhesive sticky on the back of this and in here and then you simply apply it over the top of the sensor on top of your skin. And so inside of here, you have all kinds of uh, information. You have the cable, you have the stickers, and everything that you need to get going. It's a full and complete kit. And so these are being retailed and sold at uh, $169. And you can get your bubble device at bubblecgm.com. Now let's dig into the software and let's see how this thing works and how it connects, okay? See you in the next video. So here we are inside of the Android application and the first thing that you're going to want to do is to launch the Diabox uh, application and you can do that by going into all of your apps. I'm on an Android phone, it'll look a little bit different on iOS, but in any event, uh, the application should look pretty much identical and the first thing that you're going to need to do is to add your CGM. Now I had mine connected, that's why you're seeing data up here, so I'm just going to simply do that. I'm going to go into uh, add. Anyway, I'm going to choose Abbott because this is an Abbott sensor, the Freestyle Libre. Um, and the Diabox application actually works with uh, the Dexcom device as well. However, uh, let's go into the Abbott device and that will uh, have some options here. Let's just go ahead and leave that off for right now and choose scan. Now that we're scanning, we should be able to find a bubble and there it is. And as soon as we click it, it says disconnected or disconnect rather, and now it says connected. So what we've done is we've now connected the bubble device because the bubble device is placed on top of my Libri sensor. It is able to get and read the information from the sensor. I have the serial number, I have the start time, the information, the maximum sensor life, 
and all of the information pertinent to this particular sensor. We do have the ability to calibrate the sensor. I don't want to go into too much of that right now, but basically what that does is it takes the Libri sensor reading and gives you an opportunity to go ahead and uh, calibrate it so that you can adjust for any offset. In my experience, um, it's better to just leave the Libri sensor as it is so that your doctor can get a true reading as it exists from the Libri product. <clears throat> just to clarify that uh, the bubble device as well as the free open source Diabox application is an open source product and we are not medically approved devices or software. So really all you need to do is to understand that this is just a technology to help you manage your diabetes or your condition um, and you need to rely on blood tests exclusively to make life changing decisions as it relates to your treatment. Do not rely on our technology for anything other than educational purposes and to give you kind of a, an idea or understanding of where you are currently at. Um, and even then the sensor is not a blood glucose reader. It is a interstitial fluid reader, which means that it sits just above uh, the or just below rather the dermis which is your skin and gets into that fluidic area just before it gets into the blood uh, area where your capillaries would be anyway the blood test is really the only way to get a true reading so again I know I'm going off on a tangent but I really want to make sure that you guys understand this all right the next thing that you're going to want to do is come over to the setting and cogs area and in the settings we're going to go down through some of these and make sure that these are, you know, what you guys consider to be uh, correct. These are the default settings and extreme high of anything over of 200. For you, that may be 300 or 260 or 250 or whatever it may be. You can just click into it and make the changes and then press save at the bottom. Again, these are the default settings, so I'm going to leave them because personally, they work for me. Um, that being said, you come up here to alerts or more alerts and everything is on by default, but you can turn things off and or make adjustments by clicking into any one of the settings and making those changes. Notice that you will get alerts about the device if you have a signal loss or you have low battery. Uh, under the glucose area, it will let you know about if you're high, if you're low, if you're extremely high, extremely low, what your drop rate may be. And you'll also have another area for sensor alarms. It'll let you know three days before the sensor is going to die. And then, of course, if you've missed a reading greater than 15 minutes, it'll also let you know. And that's an indicator that maybe the software has become disconnected from your bubble device. So, you know, some of the other things that are in here are really interesting is speech settings. If you're a senior citizen or your patient is a senior citizen, you may want to go ahead and enable this because that will keep them from having to look at the phone. It will tell them what the trend is, what the delta is. It can use the glucose thresholds and all of that other system uh, information rather. And we can override the system volume so that if the volume is too low, we're just going to go ahead and you know change this to. Um, be a hundred percent of whatever the, the the system volume is to make sure that it's loud enough to be heard so what this will do is it'll read the glucose reading it's a little bit annoying because the sensor reads automatically every five minutes and so uh, within the next five minutes we should hear diabox and our bubble device speak to us and tell us what our glucose measurement is what our trend and delta is as well and as a result in 52 seconds uh, it's counting down. This will be the next interval. So this is what happens every five minutes. I'll get a reading. It will verbally now tell me because I've set that on. I can also look at, uh, you know, a tighter view of the data. This is within one hour and I can, you know, I'm zoomed in within a one hour area. I can also zoom out to three hours, six hours, 12 hours. And I can use this as a timeline scroller to to get around. If I don't want to see the little dots, Maybe I want to see more of a, uh, a clear trend line analysis. Um, that will help out. It'll change colors from green to as I'm getting higher, I'm getting into a kind of a warning area because the sugar's on the rise. And uh, so you can, you know, adjust that information as well. Really great and fantastic app. It also gives you information into the bottom to let you know about the alerts. Right 127 now. 127 flat minus 0.38. Okay. 127 flat minus 0 0.38.
Okay, you just heard Diabox read off the, the reading to me, letting me know uh, what's going on. So again, very helpful for elderly patients uh, to be able to understand where their sugar is without having to constantly look at their phone. Um, but in any event, uh, I personally find it annoying, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that setting off. I can turn off everything in one fell swoop. So I've done that. Uh, the next thing to do is uh, occasionally you will have a problem with the software or you will have a problem with the device. Uh, if and or when that happens, the best way to get answers to your commonly asked questions or problem is to come up here to another user and double click in this icon. And by doing so, what it does is it pulls up the log file and it says, what do you want to do? How do you want to share this information with people? Well, I can go ahead and choose Outlook because that is my default Outlook client and it will attach this database log file and we can go ahead and send this to the developer. To do that, you send that to diaboxapp at gmail.com and then the developer will have the opportunity to see uh, what's going on with your particular instance, look at the log file, and be able to provide you better support through the form which is available on uh, Facebook currently. Um, some other things that uh, you may be of interest, and this is in the settings area, is under the integration. I have two integrations set up. This is the LibreView upload and this is Night Scout. Okay, I'm going to show you each one of these and we're going to go into that. So when you set up your Libri software, this is LibriLink, this is a native piece of software that comes with your freestyle Libri. And in order to use this, you have to create an account or account settings. And so that account is uh, my email. The one that I had set up is davidtsoden at gmail.com. And so what you want to do is put that same information in on the integration. So we're going to put, first we're going to turn this from off to on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create all of this information. We're going to press log in and it should give you an indication. Log in successfully. You'll see that here at the bottom. All right. And so what will happen now is every 15 minutes, uh, Diabox will then upload all of this information into the Libri view. W, say three W's and a one. Let's log in. We're going into Libri view. We're going to put in the account information. Okay, I am now in the system. So when you get here, you're going to get two things. This is how you connect the device, but you're already connected. So you can bypass this step and go all the way over to the glucose history. From here, you can run your glucose reports. Uh, this is the same report that your doctor has. If your doctor doesn't have it, you can take this information and print it out. Very helpful information. And if we go down to the daily log, I'll go down to today's date, and you'll see that uh, I have some information here from earlier this morning uh, that I popped in, and the latest readings haven't uh, popped up in here just yet. But in any event, all of this information will be up here for you with the integration. And the next thing that I want to show you is the Night Scout information. So Night Scout is an open source application and it's free. It is hosted by HerokuApp.com and you can get to there by simply going to Heroku app. And you can create an account and put in your credit card information because you have to unfortunately. And it will give you information regarding how to uh, go ahead and set up the account and then you can go ahead and create your Night Scout server which again is free it's all open source and at the end of the day uh, it's a little technical or I should say very technical um, to set it up so if you're not a tech propeller head you can reach out to me and I'll uh, set this up for you for a fee of course and uh, you guys can have access to having your information then loaded up here on the web uh, it is not password protected so just let you know that uh, there is no personally identifiable information, right? This is just statistical data. Um, I'm letting you know that this is actually my personal sensor, so I do use it for reseller. It doesn't bother me, uh, you know, seeing this. There's nothing about me other than my glucose readings that is up here. Um, most people would cringe at that, but in any event, uh, you know, being a proponent or uh, champion for this technology, I'd love to show off how this stuff works. Um, some of the benefits of this is, is if you have a parent, 
uh, that's in another state, you're not able to monitor them. You can monitor them from a, in the same room to afar across the country, across the world, using this type of solution. It's very, very helpful, and it is in real time. Uh, this gets updated every five minutes, and uh, basically what happens is when Diabox does its reading, it posts up the latest information up here. Um, behind the scenes, there is also a plethora of reports uh, that you can get. I can do something, say, for the last two weeks um, for the particular information that I'm looking for. Let's do show. And now I have all of my reporting information here. So lots of great, fantastic uh, information is available to you or the doctor, but the LibReview by far is the most important because your doctor has access to LibReview as well. There's a lot more information, a lot more capabilities within the Diabox app. This video is already almost 20 minutes long, but this was just a quick introduction to you as an end user, possibly looking at Bubble to uh, and Diabox for your needs, as well as if you're a doctor looking for a solution for your patients to help them manage more reliably, more, reliably, more consistency, uh, or with greater consistency, and consistently being able to do the read uh, because they no longer have to prick their finger. They also no longer have to tap the device. They simply just put on the bubble every five minutes and they get monitored through and through and you get all of that information happening automatically. And we now live in the day and time and age of automation. And guys, it is truly here. Technology is remarkable, obviously, when it works. And, uh, you know, there's glitches in the system, but nonetheless, um, all technology has its bumps here and there, so uh, we're all as a community trying to help and support each other because we are basically diabetics for other diabetics. Look forward to having you in our family as customers and in the Diabox family as a user. And if you're a doctor and would like to uh, recommend Bubble, our website is going to be here at www bubblecgm.com. <laughs> In any event, this is our website, guys. Uh, buying your bubble has never been easier. Just click on shop. What you'll want is this bubble kit. Normally $225 on sale for $169. And of course, we have additional accessories to go along with that. That is enough for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, have a great and safe day.